Now doctors take time of work to serve a vaccination station. In Indonesia, a garbage bank is established at a community health center. Welcome to Dye Headlines. I'm Sivir Su. Thank you for joining us. In New Taipei City, vaccination for seniors continue at San Chongjing Si Hall. Besides the staff of the district office and Taipei City Hospital, team of doctors have also come to serve. The doctor squats down to give advice. The residents have felt a difference. <laughs> <laughs> I also squat down to talk with children. Sometimes seniors have hearing problems, so we need to get close to them to talk with them. The doctor keeps repeating the words of advice. On the day before, more than 300 people were vaccinated. For 62-year-old Dr. Wang Jianjia, this is no big deal. Seniors are just like children, so we talk to them the way we talk with children. Then they will agree with what we tell them. With 25 years of experience, Dr. Wang serves well at the vaccination station. He took time out of his busy schedule to come serve. There are three doctors serving at our clinic, so my patient consultation time is three hours. We spend three hours of our free time to come serve here. Oh. The touching things are seen at the vaccination station. Dr. Xie Jinglong, who has served for more than 30 years, has also come to help out. We accept less patients at our clinic now, so we have more time. I seize the opportunity to come serve here. While touching, your wrist will come into contact, so you need to take this off. Dr. Xie is careful about taking off the protective gear. He has taken three days off work to fulfill his mission here. When Siji brothers and sisters said they would come here, they also felt a bit uneasy. They are also afraid of possible infection. So I thought that, as a medical professional, I could help them. Paying attention to details, these medical volunteers have served at the vaccination station at San Chongjing Si Hall so the seniors can feel at ease. As seniors are getting vaccinated in New Taipei City, the city has provided venues as vaccination stations. Every day, besides nearly 100 volunteers, there are also retired nurses serving the seniors. <laughs> the team of nurses gave words of advice after vaccination that the seniors started laughing. I like to see them laugh as it makes me happy as well. According to statistics, vegetarianism is healthier than meat consumption. She can promote vegetarianism while standing. Since she broke her left thigh last year, she suffers from mobility issues. The right knee is very thin. There are 10 nails since I'm at left knee. God has helped me. I put the crutches down yesterday as I was walking with imbalance. My left leg is a bit of trophy because I lie in bed for six months. Look, this is a cushion. Yes, this cushion costs 650 US dollars. This pair of shoes costs 200 US dollars. I hope I can recover soon so I can serve more people and do more things. Correction shoes have helped her fulfill her wish to volunteer this time. Having served as a nurse for more than 30 years, Xu Xiuhua has joined Tima after retirement. At age 69, she is as passionate as young people. Many nurses who are being vaccinated do not dare to come out. I thought that since they're not coming out, I must come out. I feel that I need to set an example for everyone to see. Senior former nurse Zhen Meiyu has been repeating these words of advice for two days. She is almost 70 years old and has retired 13 years ago, dedicating herself to Tima. Because I am also a team leader in Tima, so when I sent out the message, many Tima members decided to participate in the event. After standing for the whole day, the legs will really become numb. Yes, the legs will be numb. The young nurse has proven that standing for the entire day is truly challenging. It makes us respect the senior volunteers even more. 
Siji continues to serve the community in COVID vaccinations. During the vaccination process, doctors must wear protective gear from head to toe, often concealing who they are. However, at the vaccination station at Taipei City Hospital, large pictures of the doctors and their names were made and used as a badge to help identify themselves to the patients. The thoughtful gesture helped to comfort the vaccination recipients. The Tsuji Jing Sihao continues to give vaccination shots to citizens of the country, and the doctors from Taipei Tsuji Hospital head to five different Jing Sihals to serve, with their face and name clearly showing on their protective gear. Many times, the elderly don't know who is helping them, so with a large picture of their face and their name, the patients can clearly see who the doctor is inside the protective gear. It's a thoughtful gesture and helps us identify which doctor is responsible. There are research results that show those who keep to a plant-based diet show a 73% less likely chance of being plagued with severe COVID symptoms. Thus, this information was shared with those in the waiting area. There's research right now that says having a vegetarian diet helps to reduce symptoms from severe to moderate when infected by COVID-19. This is the perfect reason to introduce the benefits of vegetarianism at this time of peak pandemic to patients and their family. When the patients get their vaccination shots, some nurses choose to kneel to give the shot to show respect to the elderly. As vaccination continues to roll out in Taiwan, Keeping to social distancing is still a must in this pandemic. In Taiwan, Taichung City Hospital supports rapid screening stations. Besides setting up the rapid screening stations, they are also responsible for transporting specimens. They once made eight trips between Taichung and Miaoli in a day to transport specimens. Let's meet these unsung heroes who battle against the pandemic. <laughs> By the afternoon, it is hot in Junan Science Park. The nurses who wear protective gear are ready to provide rapid screening. If we turn back the time a few hours ago, we'll see this group of people. In the hospital, Department of General Affairs has been busy since early morning. They load the items needed by rapid screening stations and set up everything before the nurses arrive. Besides setting up the stations, the Department of General Affairs is sometimes responsible for transporting specimens. They once traveled for 160 kilometers round trip between Taipei and Miaoli. We follow the schedule and we transport these specimens from Zhunan back to Taichung Zhiji Hospital. We have to rush and we can only take a little break. To ensure the timeliness of the specimens, these eight people each takes a trip. It is fine that we get tired. When the time comes, we just keep doing the work. During the pandemic period, everyone must show their responsibilities. We appreciate these unsung heroes behind rapid screening stations. They work quietly and support us with utmost efforts. Thank you. Let's work hard together. Indonesia, there's a community health center in every community. The health center cares for the health of the residents and also promotes health knowledge. Recently, in Southern District of Jakarta, residents can receive free health services as long as they bring recyclables. To protect the environment and promote recycling, a village in Southern District of Jakarta has worked together with the Environmental Protection Organization to establish garbage bank at the health center. Its establishment is to help local government reduce the amount of garbage and raise people's environmental awareness. 
The guests have plenty of durian trees and avocado trees to celebrate the inauguration of Garbage Bank. Yang unik di Kelurahan Kebagusan adalah kami punya sekitar 13 bank sampah yang aktif ya. Yang benar-benar aktif itu ada... There's a total of 13 garbage banks in the village. Eight of the garbage banks actively implement garbage sorting work every week. From Tuesday till Sunday, they process and weigh the garbage. The 13 garbage banks are located on eight streets in the village. Setiap minggunya ada jatuh penimbangan ya. Yang uniknya adalah dari 13 bank sampah, ini sudah tersebar di 8 RW yang ada di Kelurahan Kebagusan. Saya sangat tertarik dan mendukung program ini perlu berkelanjutan. I support this activity and I hope this activity will continue. The village chief, town mayor and local residents fully support this activity. We hope this activity can improve in the future. Bahkan sampai ibu PKK turut mendukung program ini. Dan saya yakinkan bahwa program ini harusnya bisa lebih baik lagi dan kita tingkatkan di kemudian hari. Besides maintaining the environment, Garbage Bank Community Health Center also care for the residents' health. Residents who bring recyclables can become Garbage Bank members and receive free health services. Jadi konsep dari pos tersenyum ini yaitu integrasi semua aktivitas masyarakat. Jadi uh, dimulai dari uh, pemantik. The activity here is the combination of all community activities. We started with recycling used oil, then we developed the service at the community health center and the establishment of the garbage bank. This is the combination of activities on 3rd Street. The garbage bank and health center have joined hands to safeguard the health of the local residents. Due to the pandemic, Tana Ming lost his job. After reporting to Tsuji, volunteers discover his financial difficulties. They immediately look for ways to help him. Whether it's finding resources or renovating the damaged house, volunteers want him to live comfortably. In Malaysia, the pandemic worsened, causing the government to put the move and control order back in place on June 1st. The lockdown this time has caused great impact to the already weak Malaysian economy, as many stores went out of business. According to Malaysia's Department of Statistics, in 2020, the unemployment rate in Malaysia reached 4.5%. A total of 772,900 people lost their jobs. Tan Aming is one of them, yet he already lives with a weak economic situation. Since he has to take care of his mother too, he requested financial aid from Tsuji. We don't know their family situation, but I remember that he had a job, so they should be able to make it through. But after the second time he requested help, I feel like we should understand his situation and know what happened. At the time, MCO was still in place, as volunteers could not make personal visits. Therefore, volunteers asked the local county head to do the home visit. According to the county head, during grocery shopping, Tanaming also purchases milk powder on behalf of his mother. The filial act has deeply moved volunteers. Volunteers also saw the horrifying living conditions of Tan through photos, a broken roof and water leakage everywhere. Therefore, a renovation plan was set in place. The water was up to one foot high, and it floods about three to four times per month. Under the call of volunteers, locals living around Tanaming started to gather resources rebuilding a new home for Tan Aming and his mother. Aming, how do you want this done? We can't do anything about the bottom floor. Well, if we have to do something about it, we have to fill the ground. It has to be filled up high since you live near a river. If it's not high, the water will still come in. So we have to place a door here, the entrance over here. We will make a room for your mother and another room for you. This place over here will be the kitchen and the restroom. Everyone worked hard to accomplish this. This is what Master Chen Yan says, to purify our hearts. So everyone sees blessings through suffering, and I believe everyone learned a valuable lesson. After renovation, the roof no longer leaks, which makes the house free from floodings. The family of two can finally live together peacefully. Volunteers also arranged a haircut for Tan Aming's mother. They also bought new clothes and shoes for her, as she is very happy. I'm happy that you bought things for me. I'm so happy. 
Though the pandemic might be ruthless, volunteers are here to bring warmth while inspiring others to bring out their loving side, helping more people in need through the acts of kindness. A car accident has ruined Lee Seo Fan's family as her husband went to a vegetative state. Liu Seo Fan also lost movement capabilities due to falling. Volunteers arrived to clean her body, then sending her to a nursing home for physical recovery. After Liu Seo Fan passed away, volunteers continued to care for her son. An unfortunate car accident has torn Lee Seo Fan's family apart. Her husband had a car accident and lives in a hospital. He's in a vegetative state right now. The family relies on a husband for income, and the husband also cooks meals for the family. As these situations got worse, Li Xiufen fell in her home since her legs got weaker. Li Xiufen, after falling, is forced to stay on a chair all day. And since her 16-year-old son doesn't know how to take care of his mother, she has to urinate on the spot. After receiving a notification from neighbors, volunteers arrived to clean Li Xiufen's body. At that time, my body was very dirty. But the volunteers were not afraid to clean my body. Volunteers discovered bed sores on Li Xiufen's body, thus, a team of doctors are arranged to treat her. Volunteers also found a nursing home for Li Xiufen, allowing her to rest and recover. Volunteers also made visits to the nursing home to care for Li Xiufen. Besides caring for her body conditions, volunteers made sure to comfort her heart. In January this year, Li Xiufen passed away peacefully. Her husband also passed away three weeks after, leaving the son alone in the house. Since Li Xiufen has movement difficulties, no one in the household is able to deal with trash as volunteers made plans to clean up the house. Due to the movement control order, the plan was delayed until the restriction was uplifted. After visits were allowed, volunteers arrived to clean and bring care to Li Xiufen's son. The hardest part is to deal with the trash, because there's a lot of it. Some items are left over for too long and produce bad smells. We need more people to clean up the house. Since Li Xiufen's son isn't 18 years old yet, he cannot stay at home alone. If no one adopts him, he will be taken into custody by the Department of Social Welfare. Due to this, volunteers tried to find a better location for Li Xiufen's son. I am grateful today because the teacher and some other people discussed in regards to the children's whereabouts. They decided to send the child to an orphanage and will continue to care for the child in the future. From Li Xiufen to her son, volunteers continued to love and care for this family, becoming a heartwarming force in the society. Doing good deeds is the mission of Siji volunteers. Let us hope that more people in need can be helped. Today in our series report, we'll look at the subject of funeral services and what we want to present as our last image. Most funeral services are prepared by the family of the deceased. However, if we change the taboo of the subject and think about prearranging the service ourselves, wouldn't it be a better way to celebrate life? You can pass away at any time. We sold handmade steam buns. My husband passed suddenly, and the memorial service was very much in line with my husband's personality. Everyone saw and felt comforted. Actually, there's no such thing as funeral flowers or wedding flowers. Taiwanese people hide their love inside and don't often express it out loud before it's too late. In Buddhist teachings, life is impermanent, and world affairs are impermanent too. We never know what's going to happen next. Fifteen years ago, I was really sick, and during that month, I thought about many things, including perhaps switching jobs and going to the funeral sector, so I may be able to do something for those who have passed.
These will be used for decoration later. This is for someone's mother. She's a bit older, so they don't want it to be just white flowers. They like pops of color to warm it up. It was when I started this job that I realized my aim isn't to do something for the disease, but for the living. This way they can feel prepared about it. Yeah,可以啊,用一下 we don't know when we will be taken away. They don't need to give you a reason. I also don't know how I will leave. But if I have arrangements pre-planned, then I won't be afraid. When things happen, you are comforted at least. Currently, we have some urns that are purchased ahead of time, as sometimes the wife wants to use the same urn as the husband. I'm not scared of death. What I'm scared of is, I don't know when it will come to me, and I'm afraid that I might not get to finish all that I want to do in life. Right now, I'm also accumulating a type of funeral service I want to leave for my family and friends. When you're alive, you should prepare for this, so these videos have been pre-recorded for you, because I don't know if tomorrow I will get here or in permanence. When you're preparing for your memorial service, you'll think about what you want to say to whom or what messages you want to leave for others. What we want to leave to our families, to our deceased, often it's too late. When we haven't prepared, they leave us. And when we are prepared, they're no longer with us. This topic is something more people should embrace and normalize. Of course, it's up to organizations to publicize it too. This isn't something I can hide from. Everyone has to deal with this. There is nothing taboo about it. I hope everyone can treat memorial services as an everyday normal affair. You can do so much about it when you are alive, and during the planning stage you will learn so much about yourself. Love should be said out loud and use your actions to show your love for your family or friends. Treasure the time spent with family and friends. There is so much I want to do, I can't wait until retirement. Due to the pandemic, graduation ceremonies can only be held online. Despite that, the principal of an elementary school in Tainan has delivered students' diplomas using an ox cart. We'll leave you with these images. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.